Hi, I'm Brandy with the Power Project Collective. I founded the Power Project to inspire others to step out in their purpose, own their gifts, discover wisdom, and reach those in need. It started as a blog and a podcast, as well as an online community, but it's evolved into a multifaceted platform with a focus on social enterprise. While I was mentoring traffic survivors, I found that the greatest need that I was seeing was that of employment. So I started the Power Hat Company and the Power Tea Company to provide transitional employment to traffic survivors. We make really great hats and shirts that remind you of your identity. I've recently partnered with other women-owned social enterprises to create a collective with high quality, ethically sourced products that are really creating impact within communities. From providing transitional employment to building infrastructure in developing countries, we believe that we can use business as a tool for good. And we can't wait to create impact with you. Hi, I'm Bailey. I'm the creator behind Moss and Metal. I make handcrafted jewelry that spreads the gospel and celebrates the people that you do life with. So I started this endeavor as a way to fill a financial need for my family. My daughter had just started kindergarten and I was looking for a creative outlet and a financial resource. So I started an Etsy store and I've had an online marketplace ever since. I have a website that I sell from and I also attend different artisan markets in North Texas. I think what sets me apart from other jewelry companies is the meaning behind the pieces that I make. I make these pieces so that when you're on your third load of laundry and you're feeling really overwhelmed, you can just look down at your necklace and you see your kids' themes and you remember why you're working so hard. I also make jewelry with scripture on it. So if you're having a really hard day at work, a hard day in school, you can just look down at your wrist and you can be reminded of God's promises and how faithful he is. So everything I make is 14 karat gold filled or sterling silver. All of my materials are made in Texas or sourced in the United States. I hope that my brand is known for quality craftsmanship and attention to detail, but more than anything, I hope that my brand is known for advancing God's kingdom and not building my own. Hi, I'm Gianna with Wavy Digital. Um, I started Wavy Digital um, because I was kind of at a crossroads in my life. Um, I had just left one job, went to another one, that one didn't work out and I felt like it was my time to put um, all of my creative energy, so to speak, into creating content um, and helping small businesses um, market themselves and grow their business. I also wanted to create something of my own so that I could leave um, some type of legacy for my daughter. I think what sets me apart from other people in my industry is that whenever you reach out to me um, to get my services, I want to help you find what makes your brand your brand. I want you to be confident in that. I want you to find your swagger. I want you to find your confidence. And I am extremely detail oriented. Some call me OCD, so you can rest assured that whenever you come to me, you're going to get something that's almost perfect. I hope that my brand is most known for um, helping people, like I said before, helping people find their confidence. Um, I know a lot of times small businesses, they have no idea where to start and that's why they reach out to people like me. Um, and so with that, I want them to leave knowing that they left with something more than they came with, that they gained knowledge on how to create content, that they posted stuff on their um, social media platforms that had purpose, that they felt like with what they were doing, they were walking in their purpose and reaching out to their clients and meeting their target market and finding their niche. I hope that in the future, Wavy Digital is almost like a movement. You know, like I hope it grows. I hope that I have several content studios all over the world. Um, I hope that it's a brand. I hope that one day my daughter looks up and she's like, wow, my mom created this whenever she was I'm not going to tell you my age. Um, and now, like, I'm able to look at it and I can see that it blossomed from where um, she planted the seed to begin with. Hi, I'm Leah with Haven by Leah. I've been a makeup artist for well over 11 years. I've always dreamed of having my very own makeup line, 
I didn't think that was possible until I started my own wellness journey in, back in 2020 when I started looking into the toxins that we use and apply and wear every day. My first step was to clean out my beauty care line, any of my cosmetics. As I was replacing and going into the more natural, I realized that there isn't really many true clean brands out there. So at the time I was like, you know what? This is the perfect time to start my own brand um, and I can make it how I want it and I can make sure there is no harmful ingredients as it as well. So I started to play around in the kitchen, making my own face powder. And then it just kind of led from there and being able to find a manufacturer and it just spiraled out and it actually became true. As only God can do, he made this happen. Um, he had everything line up. It just fell into my lap and it worked out so great. And then I came out with my blushes and another product as well. And I hope that this business can expand to all non-toxic ingredients products. That way you can trust when you come to my store that you are not gonna get any of the toxins that will harm your skin. As for me, I am a single mom who didn't want the nine to five job. So I had to find something in my niche that I loved. I love doing people's makeup, but I also love the using the elements that God gave us. My hope for Haven by Leah is that women find their true confidence and purpose in what God had designed for us. Hi, I'm Jen Day. I work for Gobi Ministries. I'm a content creator and I'm a writing coach. I have had opportunities along the way to help others find strength and courage to share their stories in moments that may not be so easy for them. And I think that comes from some of my past and things that I've worked through and things that I'm still working on. Gobi Ministries exists to help reframe conversations regarding mental wellness. And the thing that attracted me the most to the ministry was the way the Toby Slough and Micah Slough, the founders, were dedicated to helping others along the way. So one of the things that sets Gobi Ministries apart is really the heart of our founder, Toby, and how he shares authentically what it's been like for him with his 30-year battle with panic and anxiety. And so what we see here now is an opportunity for us to share tools and resources to help families, kids, students, even college kids have the the place and space to share how they're really doing. What we offer at Gobi is something for everyone and really any stage of life, any walk of life. And because we're a social enterprise, it really, it's out there for everybody at no cost. And we're thankful for our donors that allow that to happen. I hope that when people see Gobi Ministries and see our Fun Fish logo that they realize that they aren't alone, that when you love somebody or maybe you struggle yourself with mental wellness, it can be a lonely place. But we really want to be known for keeping you from feeling isolated and alone. Hi, I'm Carrie with Cheney Heritage Leather. My family came to Gainesville, Cook County around 150 years ago. Um, they started making tack, saddles, boots, um, various things, leather work. So many generations this has been going on and I'm a sixth generation leather worker. Growing up, I was in, in the saddle shop a lot. I've always been aware of it, everything going on around me. It was mainly just like my dad and uncles going after it, getting it with their leather work. Um, but I feel like I subconsciously absorbed a lot of what they were doing and so when I decided to go into it myself around seven years ago it was like a lot of it was like first nature for me. Throughout the past few years I can see like the natural progression of where my work started, where it's gone and now I can see that it's evolved into specially hobo bags, clutches, wristlets and so much more and I'm just committed to like doing unique designs, patterns, things that just naturally come to me. As a single mom I can see possibly one of my kids taking on this in their own way. Sometime down the future I can totally see Sage doing saddles or Juniper um, just doing their own style of leather work that's so they would now be seventh generation leather workers. I think that would be extremely cool. 
I hope that Cheney Heritage Leather is known for what my family has always been known for, which is timeless quality, unique leather work, and quality items. I'm Shelby, and I'm the Texas Flower Farmer. Have you ever noticed how flowers bring you joy? On good days, on bad days, and all the days in between? Almost as if God gave them to us for that one simple reason, to fill us with joy. Texas Flower Farmer was planted as a seed in 2020 when I was in the middle of battling breast cancer. I was exhausted and sick from intense chemotherapy treatments, feeling trapped at home during the pandemic. One day, I decided to muster up enough strength to go outside and water my flowers. A huge feat after only barely managing to brush my teeth and take more medicine before falling back into bed exhausted only hours before. Stepping out into the sunshine gave me such a boost and cutting some flowers to bring inside and the joy shifted my whole outlook some days. I began sharing the joy flowers brought me with others and soon decided I wanted to start my very own cut flower farm. Things are off and running in my first year as a flower farmer. My focus this season is on weekly flower share subscriptions and teaching floral design workshops. My goal as a farmer florist is to fill others with joy, and my mission is to give back to those affected by cancer. I'm able to do this through my Blooming Through Cancer initiative by gifting flower arrangements to those affected by cancer. Did you know working with flowers on your desk decreases the stress levels that you feel? What about looking up from a sink full of dishes to a vase full of flowers and feeling better about everything around you? Sure, they're pretty and they smell good, but the best part about flowers is the way they cheer us up, fill us with joy, and put a smile on our face. Honestly, flowers fix everything.